The rugged beauty of the Brecon Beacons draws thousands of visitors every year. But it's also what makes this such an important training ground for the British Army, including the SAS. What happened here yesterday afternoon has shocked the local community. We've got very close links with the military and we're very proud of our connection with the armed forces. The armed forces are a major employer to the town, so news like this naturally cuts right to the heart of the community. The Brecon Beacons is home to one of the largest live fire training areas in Britain, but it's understood live ammunition wasn't used in yesterday's exercise, which led to the deaths of two servicemen and left a third in a serious condition. Instead, the investigation into what happened is expected to focus on the hot weather. The Beacons is a very demanding training area. And there was a quote after the Falklands War in the, years and years ago that General Kitson said the war in the Falklands was won on the training areas of the Beacons. It is that demanding. And when you mix that demanding physical terrain with some, uh, some hot weather, then individual circumstances could be very unpleasant. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year so far in Wales, with temperatures reaching 30 degrees centigrade. And it seems the conditions may have taken their toll. The two servicemen's next of kin have been informed and the Ministry of Defence says it's working with the police and will release more details in due course. Kemlin Davis, BBC News, in the Brecon Beacons.